Hi, it's Emma from The Launch Queen and I'm going to talk about the big block that I had with podcasting and I have just overcome this big block so it's admission time for me. I am the queen of leverage. I am um, there with the sole purpose of seeing how many ways I can use things and taking an hour of my time and turning it into lots and lots and lots and lots of leverage so that I can use it again and again and again. And I started podcasting with the whole um, decision in my mind that what I would do is I would record videos. I would record face-to-camera videos of me speaking and going through the uh, whatever subject it was that I was going to podcast about that week. I would then use that video as a video on YouTube. I'd be able to use it as a video on my website. I'd be able to use it as a video on my Facebook page. Then I'd be able to convert it to an MP3 and it would also become a podcast. So it was like easy, 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 easy. But actually what it ended up doing is it ended up putting a block in my way because then I couldn't record podcasts until uh, my hair was right, the lighting was right, the uh, makeup was on, yada, yada, yada. So then there was a big block in my way that I could only record podcasts when the circumstances were right, when the right things were in place, when I had um, everything lined up and ready to do it. I'd set up my, my video, I'd set up my lighting, I'd set up my hair and set up my face and I was ready to do a face to camera and that really 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 blocked me that stopped me dead in my tracks that meant that I only recorded um one two days a week and it was that whole well once the camera's out I'll do as many as I possibly can and I'll do lots and lots and lots all together whereas I gave myself a little bit of a break this week and I said do you know what my crowd know who I am you know a lot of them know who I am I can continue to regularly do face to camera um, teachings videos I do them within my groups so I do face to camera training sessions I do face to camera uh, little snippet videos you know there's an awful lot I can do on a face to camera basis that continues to let people get to know me a bit more get to see me um, see my mannerisms and start to connect with me on a, on a human level because people like to see who it is that they're speaking to people like to see who it is that um is the the face behind the voice or the um the face behind the brand but i also gave myself a break and said do you know what they don't always need to be face to camera they don't always need to be me there with my um, hair done, with my makeup done, with my lighting done, with my video camera set up, bleh, 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 bleh. I can do this in an easier way. I can do this in a way that flows much better for me. I can do this in a way that allows me to produce more pro- more more content for my crowd, allows me to get more value out there regularly. Because what I can do is I can bring together the images that I will use in my um, when I. I pin to Pinterest, when I um, put them onto YouTube, when I um, share them on social media and I can record with that as a holding screen and that means that whenever I think of a podcast that I want to do, I can just crack on and do it which ultimately then means that I get more content out for my crowd, which means that I can provide more value for my crowd, which means that I can help them in more ways. It's still leveraged because I can still use it as a YouTube video. I can still use it as a video that goes on Facebook. I can still use it as a video that goes on my website. And I kind of got over myself and said, do you know what? They all don't need to be face to camera. But if I've got face to camera set up and I'm doing other things I'm doing videos um for my (coughs) programs for my launchettes if I um fancy a day of recording then cool that's fine I can do that but I don't need to put the pressure on myself that every single podcast needs to be started off as a face to camera video I can give myself a bit of a break I had overcomplicated it I had put um hurdles in my way of podcasting so it's it's my princess principle and the princess principle is that we, we're so inclined to overcomplicate things. We are so inclined to make things more difficult than they need to be. So sometimes you just need to take a step back and say, is there an easier way of doing this? And if there is, then go with it. Easy isn't you 
you know, bottling it, it isn't you saying, okay, well, I, I can't do it that way, so I'll have to do it the easy way. The easy way often provides you with much more flow. It often provides you with the ability to get more information out there. And it doesn't need to be difficult. Things don't need to be hard. Things don't need to feel like they are a struggle. The easy way is always the best way in most circumstances. You know, there's not a lot of circumstances that I can think of where the easy way isn't the best way. So sometimes you have just got to think of things from a different direction. You've just got to zoom out a little bit and think, what is an easy way for me to resolve this? How can I take this um, this area that I'm stuck in, this area that feels uh, less organic, this area that feels like it's a little bit blocked, how can I take this and make it simpler? And I had to do that with podcasting. And now I am flying through recording lots and lots of podcasts as and when I think of subjects that I know that my crowd will have benefit from. So think of the easy way. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.